So this year, Robert is, Robert always sweeps our chimney for us. Um, and this year we picked up a couple more extensions for the chimney sweep thingy. Uh, just because our chimney is super tall and in the past years he's gotten up on a ladder to kind of get the top part of it. But it is way up there and once you get up there it's hard to kind of hang on a ladder while you're trying to jimmy around this really long pole and it's just not the safest situation. So picked up a couple extensions and he is going to get our chimney swept because it is about time for fires. It is getting really cold and we have lows in the 30s coming up uh, in about a week. So yeah, time for some fire. Now what are you doing? I'm just uh, getting ready to do some chimney sweeping and just putting a little grease in these joints. Sometimes they're a little stiff to come apart when after you've been done with them. Very long pole you have there. Two more chunks. Uh, one should be enough to get the top, but I got two just in case. Because I'm tired of climbing that ladder <laughs> and finishing it from the top. Painted my door shut. So I sweep out my chimney every year. Um, if you don't, uh, there's little chunks of creosote that build up in it over time uh, that can eventually clog it. And then those can light and cause a chimney fire. So just as a precaution, I sweep it out every year. This is a typical chimney sweep. It's just got a metal bristle brush head on the end threads together with chunks of uh, fiberglass rod. You just buy however many rods you need to fit the length of your chimney and uh, stuff it up in there. Brush it back and forth, see what comes out. Good thing I brought two rods. Got a little bit of creosote built up at the 90 degree joint here not a ton but enough that it needs to be swept um, so we'll get that swept and then go sweep the chunk outside Tucked back in, ready to go. Stove pipes back on inside. We're ready for another year of burning firewood. Uh, how much did we clean out? We cleaned about mm, two quarts worth of creosote out of the system. Not a ton. Our, our new stove burns much more efficiently than our last one. Just out of habit and safety uh, precaution, I go ahead and I clean it every year at the start of the wood burning season. We're getting a little cooler, getting to the yeah, time of year where uh, the mornings are dipping down into the 30s. And uh, it's like some mornings it'd be nice to start a little fire. So uh, getting everything prepped and ready to go for that. So we went on a bit of a hunt today because Robert has been cleaning out the wood stove. He cleaned out the chimney um, and getting it ready for us to fire up for the first fire of the season. The underneath part of our, our wood stove is really cool because it sits up higher and so you don't have to like lean way down to get into it and it has this little cavity underneath that's insulated and you can put wood or whatever in there however we've not always been the best at keeping that spot organized and it kind of just gets full of like junk and we haven't really utilized it in a good way so anyway robert was on a mission today to find some sort of box or basket or something that could go underneath there so that we could organize it and utilize it a lot better. So this is what he came up with. Look at all that junk. <laughs> so I don't, so I don't like standing on my head to figure out what I need to get back in there and get. Um, so we went to Hobby Lobby and we got this little wicker basket with a wrought iron top to it. That will be enough to hold our fire starting stuff, a little bit of kindling, 
It'd be perfect. It should be easy to just pull out, get what you need, shove it back in there and not be trying to stand on your head and messing with kindling and paper and stuff all messed together there. So clearly Jasper thinks that we got that for him because he's already checking it out. <laughs> uh, so I'll show you really quick what we got. Um, we got this basket that should fit in there really nicely and you can slide it out really easily and be able to kind of utilize that space a little bit better. And um, so here's what we got. Hey, that's not for you. morning so today we are outside and we are going to be working on and I say we I mean me and the two cats um, we're gonna be working on a project out here um, and that is getting our firewood chopped so you can kind of see behind me the wood pile there I did get that moved so I worked on that yesterday um, right there next to the pole barn is where we want to put our travel trailer uh, I think I talked about that in the last video um, but that's where we want to put our travel trailer so yesterday I moved all of these wood rounds down to here I think I'm going to process firewood here this year um, and Robert is going to work this coming weekend on um, dropping a couple of our standing dead we'll use those for firewood also this year so that's probably something he'll work on this weekend, but I'm gonna at least work on getting this stuff chopped up. And I think this is what we're gonna take over to our friend's house. Um, so I wanna go ahead and get that done so we can hopefully take that over this weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wood splitter. It's up in the pole barn and I'm gonna bring that down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. And then we are going to, hopefully that thing will fire right up and run. And then we'll get started on splitting some of this wood. So let's go. Good morning. We are back at it today. Um, I ended up not having time to finish up the pile of wood rounds the other day. Um, I had to leave for an appointment, even though I only had about an hour's worth of work left. So um, I went ahead and went to my appointment and unfortunately it rained that night. So it rained all over my nice pile of dry wood, but that's okay. Uh, it'll dry back out. So we're gonna be getting back at it today. I, like I said, I only have maybe an hour worth of splitting left to do. Um, so I'm gonna hop on that and go ahead and get that finished up. So let's get going. Can you imagine us two out in the woods in a big old house? We'd pass our days on clouds floating around. Oh, since I met you, I feel unbreakable. Oh, I can take it all. Whenever I'm chopping wood, if I find a spot in a log that has like a really uh, sappy area that runs through it, usually what I'll do is I'll kind of cut around that and then I'll chop that piece up um, into smaller pieces for kindling. And what that does is it just makes it so your fire lights off really quickly. With dry wood, uh, maybe some like wax wood chips and some of the sappy kindling that usually gets our fire lit really quickly in the morning. So as you can see, we are all done. I've got all of those rounds split up. I have a nice big pile of firewood and I also have a really um, good sized pile of kindling also. So um, what we'll do is when Robert gets home, we will go ahead and get the pickup loaded up. And then I think on Saturday, we'll take this over to our friend who needs it. Um, and then we're gonna get started on our own firewood. Oh, 